So here we are at the RPC car park Dukes Wharf in Norwich. We're parked up here, it's gonna be a lovely... What are you doing, Matty? What is that? I've got baby vibes. Three, three packets, that's a bit excessive, isn't it, boy? Anyway, I've got a story to go with these. I walked up to the till, three for two, yes please, I said to the lady. She goes, oh, how old is the newborn? I said, I ain't got children yet. Next thing you know, I'm being tackled to the ground by two security guards. God, I've never had such an experience in my life. Luckily, though, one of the guys watched our videos. Security Steve, thank you ever so much. He said, let that boy off. He's a good old boy. But, yeah, be careful if you go to any chemist and buying baby wipes. Yeah, just be careful. So here we are. We're in the middle of Norwich again. We're outside the mischief. <laughs> so here we are. We're in the middle of Norwich again. This time we're outside the Ribs of Beef pub. You'll know this is next to mischief where we were the other week found that World War II grenade but now we're going to do the other side of the river and um, yeah we're excited to get going there's going to be so much history found today isn't there it? yeah yeah there is so as he said we're going to go this side of the river hopefully disturb no fishermen we don't want to do that but we'll get back to you on our finds so here's the scene ribs of beef pub mischief and we're going to fish right here Leggett what are you doing down there? We ain't got time to do this. We're supposed to be magnet fishing. I'm sticking one of our new stickers on the barra. What? Now. What do you mean in it? Look at that. Well, you got a new sticker. Yeah. Now, if you scroll down to the comments and have a look in there, you can get one of these for two quid delivered. Now, this can be put on your car, your wheelbarrow, or your mother-in-law. Go down and buy one. What you got there then, Matty boy? Well, I think it's a cigar case, Leggett. On the back it says Café Creme Mild. Now, you know the person who likes to say creme is Del Boy, Creme de la Mange. Now, he came here in the 1980s to seal a deal on some avocado curtains with Dodgy Damien's dad. Now, he's obviously come out with Dodgy Damien's dad at a barney near the river, got so annoyed that he's chucked his cigar case into the river, and, uh, yeah, we don't know if the deal went down or not, but um, he obviously doesn't want this back. Look over there, everybody. The swans are out in play today. Mate, That's what we... What, Leggett? A quick Leggett. Here. Look. What, what you got, got now? Cool. Let me get this off here. It's muddy, isn't it? I can't even get it off. Hang on a second. As you can see, by the looks of the colour, this is neoplatinum dire diamond, rarest of the kind. Now, this is a little pen knife. Uh, if I can get out the bit, which I can't, Right, now you can see I've got the bit out and I've got a story behind this. About 40 years ago, right here in Norwich, there was a madness gig and I was here and I saw it with my own two eyes. Now, I was walking along here and I saw a guy looking a bit mischievous and I saw him scurry along here, looking right to left and he lobbed this in the river, scurried away into the little alleyway, never to be seen again. So we've just moved from the bridge over there to this shipping lane. You know the one, we've found plenty of gear in here so far, but Leggett's just pulled out something very interesting. What you got, Leggett? Well, you know our old boy, James Bond 007, he was doing a mission down here in Norwich one day. Speeding along he was on the side when he's got his little wheels, two-wheeler situation going on. And this is the bumper of his Aston Martin V12 Vanquish. Now, it's in great condition, almost new. So I'll take this to Dodgy Damien and get more than a grand for it. On a serious note though, this is a metal car bumper and they don't come like that anymore. They ain't metal no more. So this is actually quite an old car. Who knows? Right, Matt, he's been shouting again. He's shouting. Here, here. Right, Leggett, come and have a look at this. You never guess what I found. This is an energy saving light bulb, but a gigantic one. Now, my le electric bill for the last two years has been through the roof. And I tell you what, this is gonna solve all my problems. I won't tell you the electric company, cause I'll get sued again. But this, I'm not gonna be paying electric for the next 20 years. This is better than solar panels. Right, I just found this. Now, if I come a bit closer to you, you can see these millimetre intervals here mean only one thing. Now you've all seen Chicken Run, haven't you? Now Mrs Tweedy had that big old chicken pie maker machine. Now this is the main cog that went in that machine and she, I don't know how it's got in the river here, but it has. The old pie boys down Carrowood as well have been waiting for this cog for a long time. You know they like their pies down there at half time. That means Mrs Tweedy can get back in production, take her van down Carrowood and start selling her pies to them again. So I've just found this and it's probably my, my most exciting find. For anyone who knows us, we always go to car boot sales, especially in the summer. So I'm always looking out for tat to clog up my house. Anyway, 
I've just found this. It's a lantern. We had a crowd round me as well, um, watching me pull this out, so it was a bit crazy too. But uh, yeah, very old lantern, very tall. Even the hinge works on it. I don't know how old this is, but it's been in there quite a while. And uh, yeah, we'll take this to Dodgy Damien. Grand, I reckon. What are you doing down there, Matty? This product is from sustainably managed forests and controlled sources. They're making baby wipes in the rainforest now. Now, I found this. Now this is a true bit of historic trivia for you all. This is Sir Gregory Hastings' son's war helmet. Now, this child's war helmet is made out of mithril ore. And we all know what that means. It's very strong. Now you all know what Sir Gregory Hastings was like when he went into battle. And his three-year-old son was no different. A dummy dipped in a dose of drambuie and he was a madman on the battlefield. One past twelve, you know what that means. I've got a record breaker for all you today. One pound ten, egg and crest sandwiches at Tesco. I've never had that before. Anyway, I've got these crisps as well. McCoy's Ridge Cut Flame Grilled. Nick, why would you get these from me at the shop? I'm a vegetarian, you know that. Ah, give it a turnover. It says that's suitable vegetarian on the back. You're a good old boy. Bic lighter. A lump hammer head. Proper old fishing lure. Scissors for the bathroom. Secretaires for the garden. A load of old keys. Some rusty old pliers. Dodgy Damien's bike cutters. A Gret old hacksaw. And Dolly Pardon's earring. Now, the last time I saw Gregory Hastings, he told me he'd cut all this out. Look at all these bowl caps. That is absolute madness. Hang on. J2O. That ain't Gregory Hastings. Now you may have seen in last week's video we found part of the crown jewels. Well I've just found a bit more royalty. This is a pram wheel of Kate Middleton's pram. Now why is this in the Norwich River I hear you ask? She take, used to take Prince George to that nursery over there on one fateful day. She walked across that bridge there, up this walkway here where you see plenty of people walking and two hijackers grabbed the pram and they started hossing up and down up and down and then all of a sudden it fell in the river luckily prince george wasn't in it because it would have been a big big bbc news story about it but yeah now you may be wondering why she didn't have any security with her well go back to the start of this video security steve used to be our officer and he was in the ribs of beef pub having a pint we weren't having any of that you need to look after our royalty steve we don't want bad blood with you but look after our royalty anyway that's why he's working at the chemist so we'll take this to the police station and get these people sorted out this has got fingerprints lined all along the rim if you can see here leggett just have a zoom in on that can you see the fingerprints yeah Oh, definitely fingerprints all over it. So this is part of what we've found today. We're now about to load this into the wheelbarrow. Leg it? What are you doing down there, Leg it? We're supposed to be loading up. We've got to go home. That last find I just got was a big old mop. That's in pristine condition. So I've been having a bit of a dip in here. I'm just cleaning up the area that we've been magnet fishing on. So here we are, we've finished up at the Ribs of Beef shipping lane today. We've had plenty of people stopping and saying hello, which we're ever so thankful for. So many finds today to talk about, as you've seen in the video. My most favourite find, I will say, is this beautiful large lantern, which I'll take to my girlfriend later on. And uh, yeah, she, sh she should be happy to have it up in our house. What do you reckon, Leggett? Well, yeah, maybe. My favourite find was the mop. I used to have that air cut in high school. So you saw at the start of this video, Leggett putting a dippy detector sticker on our wheelbarrow. On a serious note, they are actually for sale. If you'd like to go down into the description, there's an eBay link. You can get them delivered for two quid if you'd like to stick them on anything you like. They're special edition and rare, aren't they Leggett? Yeah, they're ultra rare. So yeah, that's enough chucking for one week. We'd like to thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.